Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. So this look was highly, highly requested on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. It was like requested on like every social media platform that I have. So I decided to post this video up for you guys. So it's basically like a smoky eye with some pops of color. So definitely keep on watching to see how I got this look. Okay, so first I'm going in with my NYX Angelville primer. You guys know this is my favorite drugstore primer. I use this primer like in every single tutorial. And I'm just applying the primer where I normally prime my face. On my face, obviously. And then going in with my NYX pore filler. I really, really love this as a pore filler, hence the name. I technically don't really like it just alone as a primer but as a pore filler it works amazing so, so I am just applying that pore filler onto my most visible pores which is like on my cheek area closest to my nose that's where I have the biggest pores okay so going in with my Urban Decay chill makeup setting spray um, they have a different setting spray but I like this one because the lady told me that it was better for hydrating my face since I do have dry skin so that's what I'm using to set my face I love to use this before I apply my foundation and after I apply my foundation okay so going in with my LA girl cosmetics pro concealer I have mine in a color correcting shade which is orange and I'm just gonna apply that to my dark circles because I have horrible dark circles as you guys can see camera does not do it justice but if you see me in person my dark circles are cray so going in with a beauty blender, I am just going to blend that out. Okay, so going in with my Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation. Mine is in the shade 3.1 Medium Beige. So I really, really have been liking this foundation. It's probably my favorite high-end foundation currently at the moment. It's great for dry skin. It's amazing. So I'm just going to be taking that on a foundation brush, and I'm just going to apply it onto my face and then use my beauty blender to blend it out. Or you can use a brush. You don't have to use a beauty blender, but as of late, I have have been loving a using a sponge for my foundation okay so going in with my urban decay naked skin concealer mine is in the shade medium light neutral um, I love this concealer oh my god guys like this concealer is amazing so I am just gonna apply that where I normally apply my concealer I want to conceal underneath my eyes as well as highlight, and I am going to apply it onto my chin my cupid's bow the bridge of my nose and then my forehead and a little bit around my mouth Okay, so as you can see, I sprayed my brush with a little bit of setting spray, so this part is optional. You do not have to spray your brush, but I found that spraying my brush with setting spray helps blend out the concealer a lot easier and smoother, and I also realized that it has helped set the concealer a lot better. Whenever I apply foundation or concealer with a brush, I do um, spray it with some setting spray just because it just looks so much better and flawless. Okay, so going in with my Derma Blend Setting Powder, I have mine in the shade Colorless. I believe they had two more other shade, but I love this shade the best. And I'm using the powder to set my under eye concealer, prevent it from creasing. Um, and I love this shade because it is a colorless powder rather than a translucent shade, so there won't be any flashbacks in flash photography photos, which is amazing. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with my Morphe eyeshadow. This is number 71. It is basically a cranberry color. So when I purchased this, it didn't have a name. It was a while ago, but I realized that they do have names and numbers for their eyeshadows now. So I don't know the name of this, but I will find it for you guys and link it down below. But I am basically just going to apply that shade onto my crease and I am taking a blending brush and just blending out the color. I don't want any harsh edges, any harsh lines. I want this to be very soft and look gradient. Um, so definitely blending is always the key to eyeshadow. So going in with my NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil. Mine is in the shade Black Bean. This will basically be the base for the smoky effect of the eyes. So I'm basically just going to apply the jumbo pencil just all over my lid. I don't want to go past my crease just because it's going to look like a mess and it's okay because we're going to blend anyways. 
Okay, so going in with my Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this is in the shade Corrupt. It's like one of the blackest eyeshadows that I own. And I am taking that shade basically just to set where we added the black um, jumbo pencil. So you want to set the black base so there isn't any creasing. It helps prevent creasing and it just looks a lot blacker and vibrant. Okay, so taking a blending brush, as you can see, I am just going to blend out the black base and the eyeshadow. I want to make sure there are no harsh edges, no harsh lines. Again, I want this to be as gradient and blended as possible. So I am blending. The key to this look is blending. You do not want to look like you have a black eye. So I am taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to keep on blending until it looks really nice and blended out. And and gradient. By the way, do any of you guys watch How to Get Away with Murder? Because that show is so freaking good. I'm almost done with season two and almost finally caught up with the whole show. And it's so freaking good. And I thought I just had to throw it in there. <laughs> okay, so going in with my NYX Black Gel Eyeliner, I'm just using that to tight line my waterline. I also want to apply a little bit on my lower lash line too to create a smokier look to the whole makeup look. Okay, so going in with my Morphe 35U eyeshadow palette. This palette is gorgeous for like colorful makeup looks. I'm going to be taking that emerald green shade. It's like a dark emerald green shade and I'm just going to be using that with a like precise small brush and just applying it onto my lower lash line. Okay, so every time I do colorful makeup looks, I love to take my Urban Decay Electric Palette, taking the shade Revolt. It's like my favorite silver shade to pop onto the inner corners of my eyes. So this will basically just brighten up the whole look, open up your eyes a little bit more, and I just love that silver shade for when I use colorful makeup looks. Okay, so going back onto my Morphe 35U eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be taking that mint, like minty, minty bluish green color. I believe it's like a mint blue. And then I'm gonna apply that onto the inner corners of my eyes, like on my lower lash line. So as you can see, I am not extending it out all the way onto the outer corners. I mainly want to focus that mint blue onto the inner corners and then extend it out a little bit on the outer corners. Like extend it a little out to the middle, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, so I am taking mascara and just applying mascara onto my upper and bottom lashes. I forgot to film the product, the product but I used a NYX uh, mascara. And then I'm going to be taking my favorite lashes. You guys already know this is Coco lashes and goddess okay and so that completes the eye look so moving back onto the face I want to contour my face so I also forgot to film the product for you guys so I am using my LA girl cosmetics pro concealer I believe I'm using the shade toast I believe so if not I will link it down below because I have like two shades and I don't remember if this shade is toast but I leave be I believe it's toast <laughs> so but I'll link it down below so I am basically just gonna contour where I normally contour um, just where I contour my cheekbones and then a little bit on my nose and my forehead and my jawline area so I'm gonna be taking like a small stippling brush and just blending out my contour and yes yes And taking a smaller precise brush, I'm going to be using that to blend out my nose contour. I usually don't contour my nose. I only contour my nose when I take makeup photos. But honestly, if I were to just go out on a daily basis, I don't contour my nose at all. I don't know why. I just don't. <laughs> okay, so going in with my NYC Cosmetic Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade 720A Sunny. So as you can see, I hit pan because this is my favorite bronzer. I love this shade so, so much. Um, so I'm gonna be using that on this brush and just basically gonna bronze my face where I normally bronze my face I want to add more color and warmth into my face so I'm just gonna apply that onto my cheeks my nose my forehead and my jawline area 
Okay, so going on to my sleek makeup blush palette. This is the lace blush palette, and I'm taking the middle shade, which is called Gupier. I believe that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Um, it's like a rosy gold peachy shade. It has like little like gold glitters in it, but you can't really see the gold glitters, but it's so, so gorgeous. If only you guys can see it in person. And I'm just applying that shade onto the apples of my cheek. Okay, so taking my beauty blender, I'm also going to be taking my Derma Blend setting powder in the shade Colorless. I'm going to carve out my contour. I want my contour to look more precise and carved out and nicely sharp. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using that to carve out my contour and I'm basically going to let it bake underneath for a little bit while I set my highlighter. Okay, so going in with my Glam & Beauty Cosmetics highlighter, I'm taking the shade Luna. This shade was inspired by my friend Jake Luna here on YouTube. I will leave his channel down below for you guys. And I am basically just going to apply the highlighter where I normally apply my highlighter, which is on the cheekbone, on my cheekbone area, and then my cupid's bow, a little on my nose, and the bridge of my nose. And I really like how it looks. <laughs> okay, so taking a fluffy brush, I am just going to blend out the powder that we had baking underneath our contour. Okay, so going in onto the lips, or going onto the lips, taking my LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malevolent, and I am just going to apply that onto my lips. It's like a really deep, dark purple. It's such a vampy color. It's perfect for fall. It's like a bold color. You guys obviously don't have to use this shade. You can use a nude shade if you are not comfortable using a dark, bold lip, but I thought I would use a dark, bold lip. I thought it worked perfect for this. Okay, so this is the finished look for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. You guys know the drill. You can also give it a thumbs up down if you guys didn't. And don't forget to follow all my social media links, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. I will leave those all linked down below for you guys. And I will see you guys later in my next video. Thanks, guys, for watching. I love you guys. And bye.